reintroducing the idea that our kitchen, you know, a woman learning how to cook in the kitchen is not a marginalized understanding of, of a woman in the kitchen, rather her capacity to actually own and, and take responsibility for her overall health. Because the reality is that if you don't know kitchen skills, chances are you will buy fast food, you will ignore, you know, creating a, um, a, a menu for your children and you won't know how to create a healthy menu simply because you don't have, you know, you think kitchen skills are daunting. I'm going to get back to your question, I promise, but I wanted to give the full scope of the importance of this so that it's not a bypass, an option, rather it's got to be integrated in our life. And it's not a sense that women can know how to cook simply of you know, because we've marginalized women as they're just good in the kitchen. And it's, it's inaccurate. We have to take responsibility for our overall health and it has everything to do with our kitchen skills, whether it's leaning, learning how to cook efficient meals that are quick and healthy and learning how to clean our kitchen so that we're not a victim to constantly having to buy food elsewhere or not know how to cook. So back to your question, the reason why I pointed that out is because we have to sell our children on the importance of kitchen skills, not because of that they just learn to cook. It's really because they learn how to take care and to take full responsibility of their body. This is such an important sales skills we give to them. I And you infuse it while you're training them kitchen skills because what you want when you're building skills is also the mindset behind it. Remember in the women's school, we do mindset and skill set. So you want to teach them the skills, but you want them to think through the importance of and the purpose of those skills. So four and five-year-old, Number one, we have to create the environment for our children to be part of our kitchen because they want to feel like they belong. But if there's no place for them to cook, if there's nothing that's their size to cook, it's not, they're not going to feel like they are able to work the kitchen and they'll be very frustrated. We want to set them up for competence. Okay. So the first thing is that look into your house. And I've always sort of um, done this where I just have a few things that are their size, you know, whether it's a, a child's knife that is not, that's dull or a cutting board that's all, or, you know, my one-year-old actually just turned two, he knows exactly where the plates, the cups are, and he can get it himself. That's the beginning of it. So the idea is that your kitchen is a place where they have a place for themselves. It's, it's their training ground, right? If you're going to train kitchen skills, you want to make sure you have the right materials. If you go to battle and you train a soldier, you want to make sure they have the right armor. That's the same idea in the kitchen. So find child size um, materials to help them with cooking, um, with cooking and cleaning. All right. So that's number one is create an environment. And number two, um, set up the, set up a system. Uh, when you have a four-year-old and a five-year-old, I, I know it because I have a one-year-old, a two-year-old and a three-year-old and I have a five, I'm sorry, a six-year-old and a seven-year-old. <laughs> I can't remember. One of my point is that when they're close in age, I'm going to do the same thing over and again. So what we want to do, we want to very be intentional about setting them up in very different um, task. And Ryan sees me in the kitchen. It's a bit of a, a party at times because they all want to work and they all want to work together. So I have to be very firm and say, you know, you're working with this when she's done, then you can work with this. And I'll set them up on the left side and I'll set them up on the right side. I don't know. It could be mixing. Like I was making salad yesterday um, and I had Zig. We have a uh, what we call a tower. It's like a Montessori tower. And he was mixing my salad and putting the raisins on there while I had rock mixing the salad dressing in two different location. Um, so you're setting up a different station. Just think about work. Like he was mixing my salad. I was the salad dressing and it was just a bunch of salt and pepper. I have like salt, um, salt and pepper that they can use because it comes out really low. So they're not like salting my food too much, but they can use it. So just creating your stations, having the environment, creating the stations. And you as a mother need to be so, I would say, you have to think faster on your feet to say, okay, that's the person needs to, that person needs that because, um, you know, they're, they're, they're constantly moving. And what you want to do is to protect their capacity to just do work.